Check it out guys, this is the Rigid VF7000 wet purposes filter for the wet dry vac right here. So a lot of you guys have been asking me if you need a filter if you're gonna just suck up some water off the ground and I wasn't sure exactly and I thought you know I'm gonna wait till I meet the folks from Rigid. So back a few months ago I was in Atlanta at a Home Depot prospective event and the first thing when I walked up to their booth to ask them was that question, do you need a filter? And they said yes, and I asked why, and they said, well, you know, even if it's clean, you just never know what's in there, and you don't want to take a chance of any of those contaminants or debris, anything like that, going up and getting into the motor. So your best bet is to pick up this filter right here. So this one is made for five to 20 gallons. So not too long ago on my channel, I made a review of this wet dry vac right here by Rigid. And I also did another one that's more portable. Let me show you that. This is the four and a half gallon wet dry vac and that filter will not fit this one. So for this one right here, you'd use a VF3700 for a wet filter. And then on the back of this too, there's a sticker that shows the different filters, the VF7000. And as far as the dry filters go, you can use the VF4000, 5000, or 6000. So far with this vacuum right here, I've only used it to clean up some stuff in my garage, like drywall dust, some concrete dust, and then uh, just regular sawdust and floor dust, sand, things that get tracked in the garage. So the filter right now, I just emptied it out a little bit, but I didn't shake the filter out. It's pretty bad. What I'm gonna do is just quickly show you how to set up this new filter and how long it takes. I've got five gallons of water right there. We're gonna time it, see how long it takes to suck that water out. Here's a filter right here. I just discovered how you take it off. I thought you might unscrew this, but all you do is just pop it off there. Shake some of that drywall dust off. I'll clean that in a little bit. Then here's what the new one looks like. Same type of setup right there. So it's very simple to install. This end just goes over the top right there. Then that pops in place, you're ready to go. Here's a close look, just in case you wanna see what it looks like. Before I finish installing, I just wanna show you a chart right here of the different filters. So right there it shows the wet filter for fast volume of water pickup. Only this one right here is made for wet debris. All this other stuff right here, you'd need to follow that chart and use a different type of filter. On the box it shows it's a foam filter with a resin core which cleans up really easy with water. So the outside is kind of like this squishy material right there. Then the inside is, I don't know if you can see that at all, but it's kind of like a diamond weave hard plastic. So anything that you're sucking up with water, first it gets trapped in this flexible stuff right here. And then if it goes through that it has this hard plastic diamond weave right there. So. It looks like it's, yeah, I don't think you can take, you can't separate those two. I was just wondering about that. All right, let's finish putting this back on. And I think it's a good idea to get all the dust out of the inside as much as possible as you can. That's what I did before making this video. So now my plan is to put this on the ground, put this in five gallons of water, see how long it takes to drain. I'll get my son Sawyer to run the stopwatch. How long do you think it's gonna to take to suck up five gallons of water? Just curious. I'm gonna guess five gallons of water, I'll say 90 seconds, but that's just totally a guess, I really don't know. And then when you're done with that, you shut it off, and then you have this right here to drain it. Nice having a drain plug at the very bottom. So we're gonna get the stopwatch, see how long this takes. What's your guess, how long? I'm gonna ask my sons over here. Grayson, how long do you think it would take for this wet dry vac? to suck out five gallons of water? Um, 50 seconds. 50? 50. Okay, so how long do you think? 150? Oh, okay, I thought 90, or I guess 90. So 50, 90, and 150. Okay, so are you ready? Ready? <laughs> That's insane. That was awesome. It was nine 
seconds. Nine seconds for five gallons of water? It's like divided by ten. Wow, that's crazy. So one gallon every two seconds, right? If, about, if we round about, it up, yeah. if you round it up to 10 seconds, yeah, that's see, there it is. Check that out. That's awesome. That really, uh, that really shocked me and you guys too, based on your guesses. Awesome. All right. And that means I win. You win the prize. Okay. Let's try. I think I have an extension somewhere. Let's try this right here though. We'll drain the water and then we'll see how this floor squeegee works right here to grab some of that water. And then we'll turn this on. Let's just plug it real quick. To see how it And in case you're wondering what the filter looks like after running through a little bit, looks like you just take it out, let it air dry. So in case you're wondering what the inside of this looks like, now I'm just gonna dump that out and let it air dry a little bit or wipe it down. And then I'm gonna go back to using this for dry purposes. So one thought just occurred to me before using your rigid vac around any wet areas, please consult your owner's manual for all the safety guidelines. One other thing I wanna ask you is this item right here by rigid, it's an auto detailing kit. I haven't used it yet, but I'm thinking about making a video review on it. If you'd like to see something like that, please put a comment down below, let me know. Okay, on to the rest of the video. So I'm really impressed with the rigid wet dry vac. How about you guys? The very first time that I actually seen a rigid put to the test was several years back when I hired some guys to come out and do a chimney cleaning for my wood stove and they picked up all the ashes with a slightly different model than this. So their vacuum did a great job picking up the ashes really fast and I commented about how well it worked and they said yeah they've tried different brands and rigid's just the best for what they do. So ever since then I've always have been interested in the rigid brand and also if you want to see some other rigid vacuums i have some other things coming up on my channel so please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos so my recommendation to you is to pick up this filter you may not really need it but there's that time that if something happens and you get a flood the washing machine breaks plumbing breaks or you just get some torrential downpours and you get some flooding action going on you're gonna be glad that you have this on hand because you don't have time to go run out and get it or order it you're gonna to want to use it right away so i highly recommend it so if you have any questions if there's something that i left out please let me know if you found this video interesting helpful and informative please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel that's it friends thanks for watching see you next time